Hey guys, Paul Smith Mania. Tonight we talk about the Roland XV5080 sample playback feature. A few people on the channel have um, asked for more information on how that works, and um, in reality, it's very straightforward. If uh, if you ever used um, a sampler from the old days, you know the 80s, the 90s, and SCSI, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. You put it on a SCSI or a SCSI chain, and um, you can uh, connect it to CD-ROMs, hard drives, and uh, load samples into the machine. So let's take a look. All right, this is the rear of the XV5080, and really, it's really simple. All you need to do is to take um, a SCSI drive and uh, take the SCSI cable and connect it to the SCSI port in the back of the unit. Once the drive is installed, just turn it on. And then turn on the XV5080 in that order. So when the 5080 boots, it will scan the SCSI chain and we'll find this. It's on uh, SCSI ID5. Now, if you press disk on the 5080, go to load and go to drive. There it is, SCSI 5. There's no CD inside, so it's just looping around, but this is the one we want. Open the tray. And now we're ready to load in some sample disks. I I have a fairly large library of uh, sample CDs and uh, I grabbed these four at random. So we got uh, the Sonic Images OMI, the Dance Mega Jungle Rave, the Gigapack, and uh, the Dance Mega Synth. And some of these are Roland format and some of them are Akai because um, this uh, simple playback option can read both. You can also read Waves and AFF. So let's, um, let's put in uh, a sound. All right, let's put the sonic images in the drive. All right, all you need to do is to press OK for the SCSI 5, where this drive is. And there you should be able to see Volume, Performance, Patch, Partial Sample. Let's navigate down to Patch and expand it with uh, the right arrow. And those are the individual patches in the CD. So you got Pluck Mix, Slow Pluck, mellow pad, bell string, and so forth. You got so many patches. This is a really good CD. If you press and hold, you can uh, scroll really fast, just like any other Roland JV machine. So let's pick uh, the first one, which is a pluck mix. All you need to do is select and load. Overwrite the following user data. So it's gonna end up in the user data. Right now, there is a patch called extremities there, but we can delete it. And okay. And it's done. Now all we need to do is to exit disk mode, go into patch mode, and you can see it still shows extremities there, but if you refresh it, there you go. Pluck mix as high is there. It's loaded the sample. Let's play the sample.
And the cool part is also that you can um, run it through the internal synth engine and you assign say effects here you can go right now it doesn't have any effect but you can just go to the effects section here and um, say reverb and turn it on uh, reverb stage two let's do a hall one Now it's got reverb you can also do the same thing with the chorus you can turn on the chorus so it's a great quick way to make the samples fatter all right let's try another cd this cd was um, in roll-on format and let's try an Akai format. This is uh, the Dance Mega Jungle Rave. I bought all these CDs in the 90s. Uh, so they're a little dated, but they're so cool. <laughs> so let's try with the Akai CD. All right, this is the, the Dance Mega Jungle Rave Audio CD and Akai Emio CD ROM. Let's open it up. And this is the audio. So let's go to the inside. Akai. Here's the Akai partition right here. And exactly the same drill as before. We call up the disc. We do load. Drive. And um, see, it still shows the, the previous disc, so just a refresh. And now you have the Akai disc right there, so okay. And you see a bunch of partitions here. So let's start from the first partition up there and um, let's go to the right to expand it. And um, here you go, you have a bunch of loops here. Uh, this is the BPM, so 140 BPM. As you can scroll down and see all these loops look up, there are 100 BPM. So let's uh, take the first, uh, the first sample kit and select it, load, and we'll just replace the one that was there before. You can also, of course, select different uh, slots in memory and do your own programs, and uh, it's very simple and very user-friendly, thanks to the big display. All right, now it's loaded. The loops get out of the disk, go back to patch mode. And uh, again, we need to refresh this, so to the right and to the left. And there you go, 140 BPM 01. Let's play this patch. All right, here we have the 140 BPM loops. Let's uh, test them out. And for these, you need to keep repeating the, the key, so of course, you know, usually you would assign it to a sequencer, but for, purpose, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm gonna hit the sustain pedal and just um, loop them manually with the, with the hand. And that was it. Got a little excited there. This, these are the loops of my youth, you know, the 90s. I love this type of uh, rave style music. All right, let's do another CD. This is uh, one of my favorites, like the Gigapack or Gigapack. 
and uh, it's got a lot of uh, stuff including also the classical choir and it's exactly the same drill this is Gigabit Sound and Vision CD8 disk load drive Akai disk, also this is an Akai disk let's go to patch expand it all right Sound of Vision Gigapack or Gigapack bass drums there's a bunch of uh, patches here let's do some loops this is a hundred loop here Let's override it. Get out of this mode, go to patch, refresh it. 100 A loops. Let's see what they sound like. Again, all these discs are from the 90s, so they're a little dated, but still cool. All right, let's do another one. Let's change to disc number two, which has some really cool sounds as well. All right, this is a Gigapack Disc B. Drive, refresh, okay, B, yeah, and uh, patch. All right, you go classical choir. This is a man combi or mix combi. Let's do the mix combi. Select it. This should be okay and rewrite it. Okay, go back to patch, refresh it. There you go, mix combi one. Let's uh, try this choir. And this is a really quick um, way of uh, hooking up the sample CDs to the 5080. As you can see, it can add a lot of um, power to the synth. And also, you can also save uh, the samples to a... Um, um, er, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. To a... Um, doesn't catch it. Flash card that you can insert uh, into the, the synth and of course you can save the sample because you know right now it's in, it's in RAM 
and uh, as soon as you turn off the machine, it will go away. So you need to save it to flash if you want to use the samples in your recordings or gigs. So yeah, great unit. Uh, lots of expansion possibilities with the with the sound library, and uh, two types of expansion boards: the SR JV80 series and the SRX, which is even better than the SR JV80, which was already great. So yeah, cool machine. About 20 years old, but still kicks. And again, I was uh, listening to these CDs. Uh, I, I don't play these CDs that often anymore, so I need to play them more often because uh, I like those old school sounds that I grew up with. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video.